thinks the world is flat. Flat Stop. Earth. I hate those flat people. earthers, dude. <laughs> I hate Come those on. people. They're morons. There's I know. A- how do you? I mean, how do you go through life thinking that for real? This is legit. <laughs> Don't dubs. When you look at it, like if Dog. someone just comes up to you and says, yeah, flat earth, it seems silly. And I but told then this, they go through. Right. And I told this guy to have like straight reasons, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like reasons yeah. th- to explain to you guys, you simpletons, no, why. No. You just been fed a bunch of lies. No. I don't I don't yeah. blame you no. for believing that the earth is round. <laughs> right. There, there are it's tw- been told to you since you were a child. So but- Thomas's head is flat? Well, we know that. <laughs> <laughs> but wait and why is it that uh, these guys get well i understand what i mean on our show we give everybody air time unfortunately but uh people actually i mean they go on youtube and then people they, it starts to spread and no, people buy into it there's a huge conference that was in north carolina this last a conference month. Yes, yeah a conference a full of a bunch flat of, earthers a bunch of dummies walking around going yeah yeah, yeah. flat just no. one conversation the earth is flat and everyone goes yes then they go and have drinks. No. Here, here. <laughs> you do realize that like a 12-year-old science experiment basically launches a camera into the atmosphere and you can see that the earth is round. True. True that. It's what you've been fed. Do you, do you, do you, we're going to really find think out. You can. Show me it. Well, <laughs> it could just be one of those fisheye lenses. Good call. <laughs> My bad. There was a gentleman like last week he was going to shoot his rocket in the air. Yeah. Fly yeah, himself happened? to prove that the world is he flat. Had to cancel it. So wait, how would he prove that it was flat? I don't know. I don't know the experiment. That's exactly. why he canceled it. Yeah. Where are the round earthers at on this? Yeah, right, right here. <laughs> are you gonna call in as a? We call a round earther. A, yeah. <laughs> I'm a rounder. I'm a rounder. <laughs> so we call ourselves. In the. <laughs> what are the circlers? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, this is pretty fascinating. Yeah, yeah. No, he's com- He's coming on at eight twenty-three. Uh, why couldn't you find like a good old-fashioned Bigfoot guy? Something we this like. Is, this is the big thing right now. Yeah. Flat Earth is huge right now. Yeah. Bigfoot's out. Yeah, that's what happens. All the Bigfoots they, they walk, walk off the they walk, okay. walk off the end of the earth. They just fall into the. They just plummet into the to the darkness. Flat Before earth. you think you're smart, Chris, you're on the same side as meat right now. <laughs> True. Actually, it makes a good point. What's up? Come team over to the flat dummy? earth. No, no flat earth. You flat earthers. <laughs> so I why do you people say it? You're going to be believing the by the end of, the end of it. What? What? <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> I know you flat earthers are so short fused. <laughs> Why don't you just see it? The Earth is flat. God damn it! We were trying to talk about it's flat as earth. flat as toast. <laughs> mm, toast. <laughs> oh, did you say toast? Yeah, now we're talking. All right, okay. <laughs> Hold on to the flat Earth talk. Let's talk toast. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it have to turn to that? Like, 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 we're Sorry, this is like everything a, a is top. I everything's know. legit in the Thomas fake voice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Toast is flat. It is. I do it is the earth. That's all I have to say. See that? Good, good night, my people. Prove butter it. is Fact. on both. Fact. <laughs> there is butter on earth yet, butter on toast. <laughs> Quincy's? <laughs> I think not. <laughs> Point made. Go to commercial. <laughs> <laughs> flat earth. <laughs> Every time Thomas goes, hey, I got somebody coming on, I just get mad right away because I know it's going to suck. No, you <laughs> normally, though, normally no, it's you, something you interesting. Were, you want, they look, you like interesting <laughs> stuff that's big right now. This is big. Big flat and earth. flat. Big and flat. Yep. All right? It's funny in the, uh, to pull the curtain back. In the office, Thomas goes, hey, <laughs> do I talk to one of these guys that think the earth's flat? <laughs> What'd you say? I said, No. He goes, all right, I'll do it. (laughs) (laughs) Message received. (laughs) Have Steinman talk to him. (laughs) Or sing to him. Yeah, right. (laughs) The the guy will hang right up. (laughs) Some people call me the space cowboy. Yeah. Yeah. Some call me the gangster of love. Nobody calls you that. Some people call me Mo. I want to call you deceased. <laughs> <laughs> Some people wish I was deceased. <laughs> wow! <What? laughs> <What? laughs> that's our that's our buddy Jesus. Steinman. He works here on the weekends, and on his Facebook, he sang eighty five songs. As I speak of the of love. I have over eighty five songs. <laughs> Oh, him and Bob so, yeah, I know. Oh. There's our tour, dude. Yeah. I'm telling you. Oh, Bob 33. So for who? Yeah, right. I, they just have them all sing that one time. <laughs> it's the We Are the World of Dummies. <laughs> 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 uh.
Do you uh, believe the earth is flat? This is big right now, man. I don't know why. I mean, you have stars like uh, NBA star Kyrie Irving Moron. believes the earth is flat. Yeah, he's out of his mind. Are you sure, Chris? Mm-hmm. Wait till you talk to Mark Sargent. <laughs> right? Oh, really? Here's your setup. Enclosedworld.com. Is that what it's? Uh... His website. And he has yeah, a so YouTube channel. You have a, you know, we, we like talking to these guys, the people who like, uh, well, ghosts. Then we have the uh, Bigfoot people are always a riot. Maybe alien people. Yeah, yeah, alien people are fun. You know the, you know the the what the, the you know but the, this is the, new the, the tinfoil hat people. These people are providing evidence and proof and reasons why the world is actually flat. Oh yeah, well everybody's got a YouTube, like those horrible people that say that the the uh, uh, that like nine eleven was an inside job or um, Sandy Hook was fake. This isn't a conspiracy theory, Chris. Oh, oh it's not. No, this, it, is, this is this is science. This, yeah, this, yeah. Thank you, Dubs. For longer in this world, we've thought it was flat than round. For some reason, round is now in. But should it be? Shut up. If round is in, I'm going to finally start getting laid. Yeah. <laughs> flat is the last thing you are. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Mark? Yeah. Bring it. <laughs> <laughs> that's my opening that's what you give me oh no so mark I told you, so on the phone is mark Sargent. he's uh an authority on flat earth yeah he is so uh he i told him to come on and be ready because i got this, some naysayers here and oh, I, I need uh they need actual hard reasons why the earth is flat give it to me hard All mark right. All right. I mean, do you want me to? What sort of summary do you want me to give you? Uh, all Make the him believe. Uh, we'll, we'll do it in the layman's terms. Okay. Why the hell do you think the Earth is flat? <laughs> because I can't prove it's a globe anymore. It's it's a rabbit hole. Look, and I'm, I'm going to tell your listeners right now because I know they're thinking, "Oh my God, this guy's absolutely nuts." Don't research flat Earth. Don't Google flat Earth. Don't do it. Because if you start to go down there, you'll think, oh, I can, I can shut this thing down in two seconds. And the longer you spend in it, the more you'll realize you can't. Because uh, it's real. But you want, you want, like, I know we don't have a ton of time, but you want the simple, simple reasons. First off, try to find the curve. Not, not up there, not up where NASA is showing you. Try to find it down here. You will not be able to do it. I know you'll say, oh, those pictures of the Earth from space. I'll go f try it. Find me how you know it's a curve, you know, how you know it's a ball, a sphere, a globe down here. That's the first thing you well, should look yeah, at. No, Satellites he, go around it. But he makes it sit like you can't see from where your point of view now at of all, Of course right? not, because we're on a gigantic planet. A gigantic planet. Sure, left, left. You're right. And and if you're looking at the horizon, go to any beach, for example. Go to the beach. You, yeah. If you look left to right, of course, the, the Earth is far too big to see a curve going from left to right. But going forward and back, where you see the ships going over the horizon, remember, it can't be that big because you know the ships. We do see it go over the horizon. However, if you take a digital camera, something HD, <laughs> mm -hmm. high quality, like a like a Nikon P900 with a big zoom on it, and you can still you can see bring it. those. You can still see them. In fact, you can bring them back into frame. Yeah, so, they're so like they gone. haven't gone over any horizon. They've just gone past your line of sight. That's flat. Exactly. Exactly. And, and we can see objects that are way past what the curvature should be. And I don't want to get into math. I mean, the curvature formula is really easy. It's eight inches times every mile times itself. So two times two is four times eight is 32. Uh, three times three is nine times eight is 72 inches and so on and so on because it's got to get steeper and steeper. That's right. We can find and, and find me any object, at, I don't know, 150 miles or less that you can't see with the digital camera. It's, it's, you go know ahead. what's really interesting, too, is uh, a lot of these satellite images of Earth, you don't see any planes or clouds or... What? Or, yes, you do. Uh, on a lot of them, they claim are real. You don't see it. You There's a lot of things you don't see. Uh, I'll give you a couple perfect did we, examples. Did, are, are you a guy that thinks that the, the moon landing wasn't real either? Well, that's just it. I mean, uh, if you believe... You believe the Americans went to the moon? Uh, you, you're going to have to reevaluate that okay. because the the Americans were supposedly the ones that took the first shot of the moon in 1972 from Apollo 17, mm -hmm. the last mission. Apollo 8 through Apollo 16 apparently didn't bother taking any pictures of the Earth. Don't know why. They waited literally to the last one on the way home and said, "Oh yeah, here's Apollo 17 blue marble shot. You can look this up." Do you know when the, the so the first blue marble shot was taken in 1972? You know when the second one was taken? Two summers ago. 
Wow. 20, middle of 2015, for no reason. 43 years, nobody bothered to take a picture of the Earth. We all know the first picture showed up bottom of Antarctica, I'm sorry, the bottom of uh, Africa and all of Antarctica. 43 years, that's two generations of people. Nobody took a picture of the Earth. Why, when the ISS is flying up there, supposedly, why don't we see all these thousands and thousands of satellites glittering because going no by? Because no one's up there. What, what about uh, uh, the uh, uh, Death Star? Is that flat two or is that round chris chris please take the, the death star yeah like the star wars death star no 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 it's no it's a good question because he's, yeah. he's asking about the planets because like okay is jupiter a sphere is mars a sphere is, is is venus a sphere when you go to a planetarium and i know this dates me when you go to a planetarium uh and you take a pair of binoculars with you, you look at jupiter does it look like a sphere of course it does what i'm saying is when you walk out of that building you're just walking into a much bigger building that's what we're talking about here you're not on a globe you're in yes. a giant hollywood studio you're in the Truman Show, oh. and even even the authorities, the powers that be, didn't realize it until about 1960, and then they said, yeah, we probably shouldn't tell people this. So, so, we it, we are in an alien petri dish. Uh, I mean, if you want to say it, alien's kind of a tough one, because now we're not talking about people, you know, beings living on Mars or, or Venus or Saturn. We're talking about just an advanced civilization. I mean, we may be somebody's snow globe sitting on their... Yes, I think so. We know. So, Mark, yeah. give me another solid fact that the Earth is flat. Well, we're, you want to? We're basically what he's saying. What Mark is saying is we're a pizza box floating in the sky. That's right, and we're all on well, it. Well, I, you know, and we're it just anchovies, have, buddy. It doesn't even have to be floating anywhere. I mean, it could be just a pizza box with nothing around it. Because right. remember, the space, the space. Well, you get when you're in a planetarium, space is an illusion. As far as proof, absolute evidence, you know, other than showing you that there's no curve, and I think that's a pretty good one. Yeah. There's a lot of connect the dots. You want to look at some creepy stuff? Uh, how, okay, here's here's two real quick. Uh, look at Antarctica. Just look at it if you get a chance. Yeah. Meaning, Antarctica is is a no go zone for all corporations. Anywhere. That's right. Uh, yeah, you could. You can. You want to spend fifteen thousand dollars? You want to go down there to have your picture taken with penguins? That's fine. You can. You can do that. You as a corporation cannot go down there. Antarctica is owned by no one. The 1959 treaty seals it off forever, for all time. It's not even up for review until 2041. The only conspiracy that's never ever. Been, I'm sorry, conspiracy. Wow. The only treaty that's never been broken. Look at Antarctica when you get a chance. It's a. It's a fascinating continent. Which again, nobody. You'd think that a, like a petroleum company can go down there. Not only are they not allowed to go down there, they're not even allowed to talk about it. So if I'm the head of ExxonMobil, why am I not running full-page ads in the New York Times saying, hey, it'd be great for me to like suck all the oil of Antarctica? It's, it's, there's a gag order on Antarctica. You can't go there. Uh, here's what, one for you. What's it have to do with the Earth being flat? Oh, because Antarctica, if the Earth is being flat, the you're, you're talking about dinner plate, basically, mm -hmm. or a pizza box. Uh, not a globe. So the North Pole would be at the center of this thing, and the only continent that doesn't look like any other continent is Antarctica, meaning it's not this island continent that kind of looks like Australia. It is g basically this giant, giant continent that that's rings us around the entire outside. So I know I some people say... Go ahead. Mark, I have a question. So going yep. way back to the days of Magellan circumnavigating the globe, did he yeah. just go like in a big circle, or what did he do? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you move your finger around a dinner plate, right. yeah, technically you've gone around the dinner plate. It well, doesn't oh, make oh, 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 I see. So you're saying Antarctica goes around us. Goes around us. They, there, uh, there is it's the border, basically. Uh, That's okay. why. If you yeah, can't, okay. Sorry about that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. All right. so, Facts. so if you get to Antarctica, uh, Antarctica can you, would you look out over the edge of the earth is what you're saying? No, no, it's too. There's still too far to go. So, like, you get to the shore of Antarctica, which is what a 200 foot ice wall, Game of Thrones yeah. style. Yes. How and, do we How and, do we fall off the Earth? That's what I want to know. Because I want to push. Oh, I'm it's sorry, you want to push somebody off the edge of the earth? Uh, no, Ew. you don't. You, you can't fall off the edge. Uh, I mean, by the time you get to Antarctica, you'd have to go inland, oh boy, thousands of miles before you hit the outer marker, and then it's probably just a barrier, soft barrier, hard barrier, with dome. So, so wait a minute, so wait a minute. So, so you you have all these uh, all this stuff to back up your claims except for yeah. a picture of somebody or somebody going to the edge. Yeah. Well, do you know how valuable that picture would be? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, why can't, I mean, why can't somebody just take a plane it's, and just fly, fly there. to the edge of the earth? I mean, you want to well, talk you, about secured wall. That's probably the most secured area ever. Oh, really? You, you, 
could you could fly there if well i mean you'd have to bypass just about everything and honestly if you were rich enough to take a learjet or a, a big a long haul flyer out there they would stop you before again the corporations aren't allowed there you aren't allowed there but who By would the way, stop, who would who stop, would stop us the flat earth uh, no the, uh, Nazis? no no the, no, the uh, government the government Oh, the government. Oh, the, the, the government. NWO. What? 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 Wait, does, why does the government just? They want us to have nothing to do. Could you imagine the with, panic if, if they, everybody found out? Everything you know is a lie. Yeah. What? what why? <laughs> yeah, why that, would we care saying. if the Earth is is care. flat? It's a good one out of every ten questions I get is, is hey, why would we care? It would potentially, remember, people in power don't take chances. Think of this. Uh, I'll do it real quick. Uh, academically, overnight, uh, astronomy and astrophysics are gone. The remaining physical sciences, geology, hydrology, biology, archaeology, uh, take your pick. Uh, those would have to be re- rebuilt from the ground up. Telling us uh, that economically, you would have Earth to is flat. down world markets for at least yeah, a month a or two to figure out what the industries, you know, because, I mean, look, in Antarctica Trump, goes around and on, yeah, the markets are going to be affected. And think about you He's telling you this, all the scientists that we build unhinged. everything on, it's a lie. Course, it's one built is, off a lie. I don't want to get into God or chapter and verse or anything, but if this place is Courtney, a box or if it was built, that You know, means I took intro to solar alone. system, You've so I know alone. that the Earth and is round. that goes against the massive foundation That's of what science, you which has told you, look, you're just this tiny rock flying through space that get wiped out at any time. Whereas the flat Earth model says, no, no, actually, you're pretty well protected. So, or so, somebody's protected. I, Mark, yeah. I have a question. So if, if the Earth is flat, where are we housed at? Like where? I mean, you know, we me? don't know. And, and why? Oh, it would be great yeah, to he know. Just, he just said a little while ago that we could be somebody's snow globe. Yeah, take your take your. So pick. we're like I somebody mean, set what? of sea monkeys, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah and sea monkey analogy isn't too bad. Yeah, I mean, it's I, not thank bad. You, thank you. It, and, and this isn't a one-off either. I also don't think that we're the first people to rent this apartment. Uh, there were other civilizations mm-hmm. before us. I mean, I mean and the there's proof of that. Japan, the second cities off of India, Bosnian pyramids, that sort of thing. Bimini Road. Bosnian pyramids. It, yeah, I mean, yeah. we... Oh, yeah, look that up if you get a chance. It's there, fine. There's yeah, all yeah, kinds of both, digs that happen that we find... They're totally hidden underground. It'll take them forever to unearth them, but they're out there. But anyway, the point is is that there's probably more than one of these out there as well. Why would you just make one? Do you get laid? You make a... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet you... I bet you could Clean up at the flat Earth. Convention. Yeah, do you, do you clean up at the flat Earth? Like flat Earth girls, yes. <laughs> really, flat Earth girls. Yeah. Do you, Are they big chested? <laughs> <Good> ironically, <for laughs> no. That's cool. Listen, that, 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 that's, that, that's too easy. I mean, there's seventeen thousand people in the Flat Earth Society, so I'm sure he has some girls. That's a lot, that's right? Oh, no, that's, that's we're not even associated with the Flat Earth Society. Oh. social media. Has taken over. I mean, no, there's millions of us out mm-hmm. there. So, you, so the actual picture to get that will make you a ton of dough is you, yeah. like, parkour oh, on the edge me, of the earth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> show, show me Admiral Byrd's picture when he was looking for the edge for 30 years. That's right. Show me when he got out there. Show me that picture. I'm sure this picture's taken, but they're just not going to show them to you. Hey, uh, uh, we're talking to Mark. Uh, what, what's uh, the last name again? Mark Sargent. Mark Sargent. Oh, Sargent. Yep. Yeah. And what's the website again? Uh, the website, you know what? Just go into Google and type in Flat Earth Clues. That's okay. the easiest way to find it. All right, Chris, you're on with Mark. Go ahead. So if the Earth is flat, explain seasons and the sun during the day, and, you know, how it goes away. Good. That's a good question because people will say, well, how can there be time zones if the sun is all, you know, if it's flat? You know, there'd be light everywhere, like a, like a light in a shed, you know, that shines everywhere. Yeah. We're talking about the sun is very, very small by comparison. Remember, we're talking about a planetarium. So the sun and the moon are very, very tiny. You know, the sun's not 93 million miles away. The moon's not uh, 237,000 miles away. They're just rotating above us like a child's crib, like a yin-yang symbol. Oh, oh. And like a I mean, they're really... Think of I'm how sorry, many what? ways the like we are controlled yeah. with yeah, uh, the child's crib. And as far as the seasons go, because you're saying, well, you know, the sun changes in the sky. Sure the, yeah, yes. It would be like a needle on a record player, again, dating me. So like a needle on a record player, how it moves in, and if you reverse it, it moves out. That's what we're talking about so, here. Plus so, the but sun it's all back. manufactured. But which, yeah. which way? If it goes around, like, the uh, outside of the... Cr- like you're the, asking the wrong questions. The, 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 the <laughs> he crust, just explained it to you. How come it's not melting Antarctica? Uh, because it's not that the sun isn't the most exclusive. It is not an exclusive heating system. That's right. Uh, it's, it, it he, is, he's saying it's a manufactured oh, right. system. It depends on whoever yeah. has this on their mantle. It depends on his heating system. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, again, no Got different it. than a, terrar- a terrarium. I hate to use this. A terrarium where you have your lizard in. Everything exactly. is, ma- is manufactured. Controlled. Everything is controlled. So, Mark, the bigger question is in. Through all your flat Earth research, who yeah. where are the clues leading to who's controlling everything? Uh, what, what's that's, his name? That's 
That, well, that's a tough one because there can only be one of two things. Either it's an advanced civilization, probably an older civilization. That's, let's use the, the movie Contact, if you remember that, with Jodie mm-hmm. Foster. Yeah. That great line where she goes, did you build it? And he goes, we didn't build it. We have no, we have no idea who did. Uh, it, it, it's either uh, an advanced civilization like that or, you know, are we talking about intelligent design? Are we talking about the handprint of God? That's right. Either way, whoever we, if, if we find out who built it, the first thing we're going to say is, hey, do you know God's phone number? Because we, we lost it. That's right. We, no, we're lost. I don't think anybody's going to say that. <laughs> See, I think that's the bigger question. I, I mean, I mean here's, why, here's why we aren't allowed to know that the Earth is flat. Go because ahead, there's so many ways of controlling us through through uh, the uh, uh, the threat of the world ending with... Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, the, the, the basic premise of any government is, I mean, the underlying subject is you need us. That that is the under. You need us. Yeah. Be afraid. You and if the, if we knew the Earth was flat, we wouldn't need them. Why? Well, Why would again, we need them? Yeah. Because you can't. You're not. You can't be the ultimate power unless you're the ultimate power. That's right. If all if all of the government saying to, you know, here's that wouldn't what you matter do, if, it was, if we were round or flat. Yeah, or square. Yes, it would. Matter. You Does always that mean have no, to. Have none of exactly. the other planets are round, like the sun, the moon. Courtney, Mars, Mars. the grass is always greener. Everybody else is round. They don't, they, I'm sorry to answer her question. They don't. They don't have to be. They don't have to be spheres. If you're in a planetarium, Jupiter looks like a sphere when you're looking up in the sky. But it's just part of the display system. As long as That's you right. believe it, remember, it's as long mobile. as the illusion is believed, then who cares? I mean, whoever designed this place, we're the, all being was under this that's pretty much it, at least for a while. But I think we were supposed to figure it out eventually, like any of the civilizations. I think we were supposed to figure it out probably in the 1970s or 80s privately. Yep. But the government yep. figured it out first, and they said, you know what? We're going to hold on to this for a while. Hur- hurry up, me. Mark, with that kind of <laughs> uh, with that kind of ideas, couldn't you just say we're all in the Matrix and hooked up as one big battery and we're living that, out That's not what you're saying, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But couldn't we be? You- yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. You could go down that simulation road very, very easily. There's some scientific so. experiments out there that that lean towards that. Uh, the, the basic one would be the double slit experiment. That is. Do you know uh, about that, meat? Go ahead, nothing, Mark. Nothing, nothing, nothing exists until you look at it, and they it's prove true. it scientifically. To where you look at something, but particles versus waves. When you turn your back, it turns into a wave. When you turn back around, it, it turns into a particle. Like uh, when, um, like Groot is being looked at in the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy thing, mm-hmm. where he's not dancing, that's and then right. you look and. and he- so that's it, it, that happens all the time. Mark, I've never Mark, been more disappointed than when I first saw Thomas. That's great. <laughs> hey, uh, There's a lot of calls, Chris. Andy. You're on the air with Mark quickly because we got to go. Okay, go, Andy. Hey, Mark. How you doing? I'm. Uh, I've been following you for years, and um, oh my god, I just you wanted to say them? what brought me, what brought me to flat Earth was uh, water. The physics oh. of water just doesn't change. From your yeah. bathtub to a pool to a lake to the ocean, like and it water, remains water fl- lake. flat. Yeah, flat. That's right. Yeah, well, that dude's legit. Water <laughs> lays absolutely flat, which is why when we're doing—I'm sorry, did you have a question, or you're just saying that water lays flat? Uh, yeah, that's all he's saying, I guess. Oh yeah, yeah. The water lays flat, which is why, again, the the big test, the easiest test, is go down to any body of water and look over it. Look at the lighthouse. Look at the building. Look at the ship. And if water lays perfectly flat, then tell me how you can see these things. And, and I know one of your questions, real quick, is, hey, how come we can't see Japan from California? We don't want uh, nowadays. To. I'm. <laughs> well, no, you can't because the, at- the atmosphere is too thick. Remember, you're breathing four parts nitrogen and one part oxygen. If there was a vacuum, if you removed all the atmosphere, I think you could see Japan from California. Yeah. All right, man. Uh, this good, has been extremely talk. informative. I got to well, tell you. This is a whole, we're going to have to have a whole other conversation. With no, Mark. that's cool. So, no, you guys dude. are actually believing this. No, I got to no, go. This is legit. It Mark, is. We are being controlled. Thomas. Thanks, Mark. Hey, thank you, guys. Well, Mark, thanks for coming on. We appreciate the Mark information. Mark Sargent, look him up, all yeah. right? All right, bye, guys. Bye. bye. Love you. Don't call again. <laughs> Love you. Thomas, what are you doing? He's Dude, leaving. That's legit. No, that's think not. about think about that. Think about you know, all You had he, nothing to refute anything he said, exa- Meat. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Just just shut up. Like it was I said, stupid. We could have been in the Matrix for all we know. That this is the situation of being being controlled. Hey, listen. Right? In wrestling, they call it the squared circle. Make sure you're listening to uh, Shroom today about five o'clock. He'll. Uh,